Hey, if you're a nonprofit and you're looking to do a mailer, what's the first thing they should do, Michael? What's the first thing they should make sure they should well, do? Well, first, make sure you go to the USPS and you get your nonprofit authorization number and then you pay for that. That's a one-time fee. The I would be careful when you go in there because the post office is automatically going to try to get you to get your indicia for the year, which is a yearly fee of 200 some dollars. But for a nonprofit company, they can just have themselves certified as a nonprofit, especially if you're going to be using a printer in a mail house. Yeah. You don't need the indicia. We've got the indicia. You just need to have that nonprofit authorization code so that when we go to take it to the post office, we can use the nonprofit rate. Obviously, you have to have your address and information logo on there somewhere so that they know that it's not someone trying to unfairly use the nonprofit right, sure. authorization and get a lower price. Not that anyone would do that, but some people might. And um, that would be the first step. Go get that. Go get ready and then have someone like us design and print and mail it for you or have it designed. We can put our indicia on there then so you don't have to pay that because that's a yearly fee. And that's when some people get turned off like, ah, I don't know if I want to go through all that because I've seen nonprofits and people that were, were sending stuff out for campaigns. They were having people put stickers and stickers and stamps and stamps and stamps on all their pieces that and it's just it costs so much more it takes money. a lot of time and it costs yeah. a lot of money because there's a significant savings once you yeah. get you certified right yeah right. because i mean the the highest rate for uh, like let's say a trifold letter and a number 10 nonprofit is to like 20 a little bit over 20 cents 20 point point two oh seven so uh, you know, obviously with a, the normal stamp rate right now of 60 some yeah. cents, it's a huge saving. Big Even time. if you're Big sending time. a thousand out, I mean, the cost savings and just the postage alone is huge. So if, if you're about to do a nonprofit mailing, I highly recommend that you make sure that you are registered with the USPS as a nonprofit and then work with a printer and mail house to do the printing yeah. for you instead of trying to do it yourself. You're gonna maybe pay a little bit more for the printing of it, but uh, you're gonna more than make up for that amount of dollars and cents when when the postage is that much lower. Heck yeah. Because you're certified and you're using a mail house and printer to, to send hey, that And out. one other thing you had mentioned before is uh, if you've got a letter that's gotta go in your envelope, you don't have to get a bunch of volunteers. I mean, you guys can handle that too. Yeah, I mean, there's inserting machines that yeah. can deal with, with that. Like a snap. And, yeah, and, and and that cost is also going to be offset. The whole project will be offset by the yeah. fact that you're saving that much money on the postage, which is usually the biggest cost involved. So the first thing you do right now, go to the post office, remember. Then when you come back, if you want to see some other videos like this, go to footprinting.com, footwithaneeprinting.com. Uh, and then if you've got a mailing project coming up, why don't you contact these guys and get them on? They'd be happy to do it. So thanks a lot for sharing this information. No problem.